guys, TechSecMan TV here with an overview of the new MacBook Pros and the new Flipslide HD. Let me start off with the new MacBook Pros. They were just announced yesterday. These are the new 13-inch, 15-inch, and 17-inch laptops by Apple. So starting off with the 13-inch, there is actually two models like before. Now the minimum model of the 13 inch MacBook, the cheaper one, it sells for $1,199. It still has an Intel Core 2 Duo processor. Now it has four gigabytes of RAM. It has a 250 gigabyte hard drive, an SD slot, and now there's actually two new things about it. Number one, there's now 10 hours of battery life, which is definitely great. A big up from the last amount of battery life. And then there's actually new graphics on the new MacBook also, and these are NVIDIA GeForce 320M graphics. These graphics will supposedly provide 80% better performance and will supposedly use 40% less power. Now the upper scale 13 inch MacBook Pro sells for $14.99. It has 2.66 gigahertz, an Intel Core 2 Duo processor as well, 4 gigabytes of RAM as well, but 320 gigabyte hard drive and everything else is the same as the lower scale model. Now Apple also introduced three new 15 inch MacBook Pros. The lower scale model has 2.4 gigahertz. It has an Intel Core i5 CPU, which is definitely great. And that's what many people have been wanting for a while. It also has four gigabytes of RAM, 320 gigabyte hard drive and SD card slot built in 8 to 9 hour battery which you'll definitely expect with better specs and a better CPU, Intel HD graphics, and Nvidia GeForce GT 330M graphics with 256 megabytes of RAM on there. Then the next 15 inch model is 2.53 gigahertz. It has an Intel Core i5 CPU, 4 gigabytes of RAM, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, an SD card slot, and built in 8 to 9 hour battery along with the same graphics. That model sells for $19.99. Then the upscale 15 inch model has 2.66 gigahertz, an Intel Core i7 chip, which is even better than the i5, obviously, 4 gigabytes of RAM, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, built in 8 to 9 hour battery, NVIDIA GeForce GT 330M graphics with 512 megabytes of RAM, and this one sells for $21.99. There's also one new model of the 17-inch MacBook Pro. Unfortunately, this has an Intel Core i5 CPU, so if you want i7, you're gonna have to get a 15-inch MacBook Pro. This also has four gigabytes of RAM, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, an Express Card 34 slot, built in eight to nine hours of battery, Intel HD graphics, NVIDIA GeForce GT 330M with 512 megabytes of RAM, and this MacBook Pro 17 inch sells for $22.99. So what's new with these new MacBook Pro is basically there's a few new things besides the new specs. Basically in the 15 and 17 inch models, there's now automatic graphics switching. The battery life of all these models are obviously much higher than before. There's an option to actually boost the 15 inch MacBook to 680 by 1050 resolution instead of 1440 by 900. And now there's actually inertial scrolling on the trackpads and that's basically just a flip motion that you can use on your iPhone, iPod Touch, slash iPad. Now, the next topic for this video is the Flip Slide HD is actually now available. After a week or so of constant leaks and everything about this product, it's finally available for $279. Now, basically, this looks exactly the same from the outside, except when you're actually in the recording mode, there's a touch screen. Now, the reason this is actually called the Flip Slide HD is because there's a slide out screen. It's a three inch. The slide out screen is actually just used for the playback, and there's actually another screen on the outside. It's a resistive touch screen that you can use to record your video and all of that, just like on the older flip models there was physical buttons there but now there's actually a resistive touch screen. Now for the actual hardware on this device there is a headphone jack, stereo speakers, and an HDMI out. Now the video recording did not get boosted from the previous uh, flip Minnow HD. It's exact same 720p video recording, no image stabilization, no autofocus, Everything is exactly the same, just the hardware on the new camera is completely different. Now there's actually 16 gigabytes of storage as well, and that's capable of recording for four hours. But anyways guys, that's basically it for this episode of Tech Talk. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to comment below on what you think about the new MacBook Pros, and what do you think about the new Flipside HD. Thanks for watching.